I am going to solve this problem 1283. In this problem, uh, it is given that pegs A and B are restricted to move in electrical slots due to the motion of the slot in link, right? So we have the slot in link and these two pegs are restricted to move in this path. So it says that if the link moves with a constant speed of 10 meter per second, determine the magnitude of the velocity and acceleration of peg A when x is equal to 1 meter, right? So when this peg A is at a distance of 1 meter in the x direction, so we have to find the magnitude of velocity and acceleration, right? So is uh, it is given that the velocity is equal to 10 meter per second and as we can see that this velocity is in the x direction, right? So this means that we are given vx. So vx is equal to dx by dt and this is equal to 10 meter per second. And also we are given this path function, right? So we are given that this x square divided by 4 plus y square is equal to 1. Now if we multiply this whole equation with 4, so then this will be equal to x square plus 4y square equals to 4. And if we put x is equal to 1, since we the x is given which is equal to 1 meter, right? So when x is equal to 1, we can find the value of y, the y coordinate of peg A, right? So this will be equal to 4y square will be equal to 4 minus x square and we can put x is equal to 1 so then y square will be equal to 4 minus 1 whole square divided by 4 and if we take the square root so then that would be the y coordinate so the y coordinate comes out to be under the root 3 divided by 2 and this is equal to 0.866 meters right so this means that this peg is at a distance of 0.866 in the y direction right so this is 0.866 meters in the y direction now to find the velocity and acceleration magnitude we have to take the derivative of this right and since the y is a function of x and x is a function of time right so we have to take the we have to apply the chain rule right so then if we take the derivative of this so then this will be 2 x x dot plus this will be 8y and y dot and the derivative of 4 with respect to t will be 0, right, since so this is constant. So we can write that this is 2x and this will be x, uh, x dot is velocity in the x direction, right, so we can write this vx plus 8 and this y dot is velocity in the y direction and this will be equal to 0, right. So now as we can see that the x is given, so we want to find the velocity magnitude at x equal to 1 right so if we put the values in this equation right so this will be 2 and x is equal to 1 and the velocity at x is equal to 1 the velocity in x direction is constant so this means that vx is 10 right so we will put this equals to 10 plus 8 and when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0.866 right so we will put that 0.866 value here and vy is unknown so in this equation only vy is unknown so this will give us the value of vy so now when we solve this equation so then vy comes out to be minus 2.887 meter per second so now to find the ax uh, the magnitude of the acceleration we have to take the derivative of this e equation once again right so if we take the derivative of this or if i take the derivative of this equation so then again we have to apply the uh, chain rule but before applying the chain rule if I divide this whole equation by 2 so then this will be x x dot plus 4 y y dot and this will be equal to 0 and now if I apply the chain rule again so then this will be we have to apply the product rule to this and this right so this will be x and x double dot plus x dot whole square right so we are applying the product rule of differentiation right plus and this will be 4 and this will be y y double dot plus y dot whole square and this will be equal to 0 right so again uh, we can write that x x double dot is acceleration in the x direction plus x dot is the velocity in x direction so this means that this will be x square plus 4 and y and y double dot is the acceleration in the y direction 
and let me multiply this 4 as well so this will be 4 y a y plus 4 and y dot is the velocity in the y direction so this is v y square equals to 0 so now we will put all the values which are known right so we know x value so uh, we want to find the acceleration and the velocity when x is equal to 1 meter right so x is equal to 1 we know a x as well right say so the velocity in x direction is constant so if we take the derivative of this so then a x will be equal to v x dot and if we take the derivative of this constant so that will be equal to 0 so this means that this a x is 0 so this whole term will become 0 right this whole term will become 0 and this will be v x square so v x magnitude is 10 this is 10 square plus 4 and y is 0.866 when x is equal to 1 meter right so this is 0.866 and a y is unknown we want to find this a y plus 4 and v y is known when x is equal to 1 meter so this is minus 2.887 right so i will write minus 2.887 whole square equals to 0 so now in this equation only a y is unknown so we can find it a y as well right so a y a y will be equal to minus 4 into minus 2.887 whole square minus 10 square divided by 4 into 0 0.866 so the acceleration in the y direction comes out to be minus 38.49 minus means that the acceleration the acceleration along the y direction is acting in the negative direction right and similarly this vy so the velocity component in the y direction is in is acting towards the negative y right so this is the positive y so now we are asked to find the velocity and acceleration magnitude so velocity magnitude will be equal to vx square plus vy square under the root 2 so vx is 10 and vy is minus 2.887 whole square so this will give us the velocity magnitude and similarly if you want to find the acceleration magnitude so acceleration magnitude will be a x square plus a y square under the root so a x is 0 is 0 right so this means that this will be 0 plus a y square under the root so this means that acceleration magnitude is equal to the a y magnitude which is equal to minus 38.49 sorry the magnitude is always positive so this is a y whole square so this will be equal to only a y magnitude right so this will be plus meter per second square so this is the solution of this particular problem